hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be talking about life after childbirth the experience right the experience so far hmm. first off i want to apologize to my friend who was telling me at the time that it was going to be tough you know she kept telling me that it's going to be really tough you're going to have sleepless nights and all of that and i was upset with her like stop telling me this kind of stuff like it can't be that hard can it be i mean it's not going to be that hard now and you know i told her please don't don't please don't discourage me don't make me feel like this i don't want to hear right so i want to apologize to her because <laughs> because anyway a few things that i experienced right after childbirth i'd like to share with you guys first of all i want to talk about the forgetfulness because this one is important to me i think at some point my husband thought that i was faking it because i would always forget the tiniest thing like i'll literally be saying something now and the next second i can't remember what i was saying or i'm going to do something and then I, for I was forgetting a lot a lot 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 like i could not keep information down and i had to go google at some point i'm like let me google this thing and see if it's part of you know the things that you experience after you you give birth and i could see that it was something that you know some people experience i'm like okay fine i'm not really mad <laughs> it's one of those things right i was forgetting a lot of things i was crazy that's that's the one thing and after googling it i took it to my husband like see i'm not i'm not trying to act okay i'm actually really forgetting things and it's upsetting me too because i know i'm not, i used i didn't used to be like this so what's happening another thing that i like to talk about is constipation i'm not even going to lie when i got back home i was pooping effortlessly it wasn't hard i thought my first poop was going to be disastrous like when i was talking to a friend she's like ah hmm and i was scared i thought it was going to be like that so for like two days i didn't go because i was afraid and then when i found out it wasn't you know it wasn't traumatic because <laughs> they'll give you something to take right um so that your poop can come out easily and so i was taking it and my poop was fine until one day <laughs> one day and days after what i mean is it didn't happen once <laughs> i went to poop and i was stuck and i prayed to god i'm like god please if this poop comes out easily today i will serve you for the rest of my life it was that far it was crazy like i went to this group chat with my friends and i'm like you guys i'm dying literally i am dying i don't understand why i'm trying to poop and i'm like it's what is going on and you know, my friend gave my friend gave me solution that I cannot share with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, that constipation is terrible. It was. I'm like God. I'm happy that I don't even have to live my life like this. I don't even imagine what people that constipate on a daily basis go through because it was intense. Another thing is, if you tear right, because I mean, a lot of women get to tear after like while they are, you know childbirth they get a tear and sometimes they cut you so you don't tear disastrously sometimes you just tear and i think that one of the people that i had to have a surgery right after because you know the the actual the normal stitch it wasn't working so i had to have i had to have a surgery immediately so i want you to understand how much pain i was in i was given morphine right i was given morphine to take with other painkillers because the pain was mad now i got back home and i'm supposed to sit and you know when i'm breastfeeding my son i'm supposed to sit i don't know it was it was because i was like this you know you have to sit on one side of your butt because you cannot sit on the pain i remember one time where we went for like checkup in the uber all of a sudden i was feeling so much pain like i could not even i didn't know what to do with my life at that point i'm like should i kneel down God, should I kneel down? What am I supposed to do with this pain? It was intense. It was painful. Ah. I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, of course I was going to feel the pain, but a lot of these things you have to experience to understand. <laughs> it was painful. And even walking was painful too. Cause I was while like if I'm walking, I'm feeling the pain. Sometimes I'll just just bend to chill for a minute because yeah that pain was intense i'm not going to say i'm not going to breastfeed my baby because i'm feeling pain you have to find a way to walk through it but 
you know the pain was there it was it was something sleepless night i don't know why babies sleep through the day oh i don't know why some babies sleep through the day and then at night they are active it's like they come alive in the night because my son will sleep all day literally all day and then in the night he's active his eyes are like this and you know the crazy thing is for me i don't sleep during the day i do not sleep during the day i don't know how i don't know why i can't even except i'm i don't even know even when i'm tired to the bone marrow it's really hard for me to sleep during the day nighttime is my jam so imagine this life where my son is awake all night and I sleep all day and I'm awake all day and at night I just want to crash I just want to sleep but that's not even possible because my son is awake well, how am I going to sleep do you understand what I mean I was seeing double on some days I'm like what was, what, what life is this God this is not the life that you promised your daughter this is not the life that God promised me because ah I remember arguing with my friend that is it not just to be awake in the night of course I can be awake in the night now what's there Bro, there's a difference between being awake on your own terms and being awake forcefully, like you have to be awake. That's the time that the universe will now want to push you to sleep by all means necessary. Bro, it was, it's, it's crazy. So my husband's 100% supportive, right? How we used to do it is we take turns. While he's asleep, I'm awake. While I'm asleep, he's awake. You know, we take turns um, looking after the baby. But there was a time where he had to do like night shift so it was just me at night awake <laughs> it was just me literally and i don't know i don't know what my life was like and the only thing is it was i don't think it was even showing on my face at the time but i was going through sleep deprivation has its own symptoms you should get what i mean it was it was crazy it was really a crazy time i kept being, I, I kept talking to my friends i'm like when is this going to end? Is this ever going to end? Is this what my life is going to be? Am I going to keep shining my eye like this every night? I know I like to be awake in the night, but this is not what I was thinking, guys. <laughs> and that sleepless night, bro, it's 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 a whole thing on its own. Yeah. <sighs> I tried, you know, to shower my baby and it was just I used to feel like I was going to drop him at every I used to feel like I was going to drop him because it was it just felt really small to me so my husband just took control of the whole situation he showered Kobe for three months straight I mean I won't say we did it together because I was set up and then he now shower him but really he was the one doing everything I'll dress him up or we we'll dress him up together because it was hard for me because when when he got bigger that's when I you know took the whole thing but yeah we still have days where he showers and I shower and stuff like that. I also want to talk about the pain from breastfeeding. So for, for me, my son laughed immediately. It wasn't painful or anything. Like right in the hospital, he laughed and you know we got that done. Subsequently, breastfeeding became a nightmare for me. It was painful. I think I experienced this pain for like two months straight. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I experienced that pain every time that I was going to breastfeed my son, I would be cringing like, oh god, I want this is going to hurt. Like it was painful for two months straight. And I wasn't I never looked forward to it. I'm like, God, <sighs> do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? But yeah, I did. I had to do it and I did it. It was really painful, but you know, mind over matter, really. That that pain, that pain. I didn't even see it coming. I didn't think that it was going to be painful. I thought it was going to be like a natural process, you know. Breastfeeding is natural. That's what they always say. Guys, the one thing that I thought I was going to gain, let me even tell you guys. If you know me, you'll know that I have always wanted to have son even to be. I always talk about it a lot to anybody who cares to listen. So the one thing I thought I was going to get from this pregnancy was, you know, weight gain. I was excited for it. You know, that's the one thing I'm like. Finally, I'm going to put on weight without, you know, the struggle and all of that. But let me tell you, I did put on one weight. My pregnancy weight was, I was 82 kg, right? And I remember when I go for my prenatal, the um, nurses would be like, 82, how? Like, where's the weight and all of that? I, it wasn't showing on my body, right? I wasn't big. I was just literally, I was just there. 
so 82 was not even showing on my body but i'm like see i'm going to take it i just like after childbirth i want to retain this weight i like what i look like now right and i was really excited i thought that it was going to be i thought it was going to be that easy and so after i had my baby i got back home i was still looking thick you know my jean i have some big jeans right this pair to fit i'm like ah this is beautiful i like how i'm looking and everything and in the space of one week <laughs> In the space of one short week, I lost every single fat that I thought I was going to like retain. I lost every single thing. You know how people gain stuff after they give birth, right? I did not gain anything. In fact, I think that I reduced everywhere, all around, right? I lost all the weight. I became like this. If you think I was slim before, it got worse, right? I was really, really tiny. And you know, the crazy thing is, I'm eating. It's not like I'm not eating, because obviously I have to eat to feed my baby. So I'm eating, but I'm not gaining weight. Again, maybe because my son was eating a lot. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I wasn't gaining any single weight. My friend told me, I should not worry. I'm going to gain weight when I start breastfeeding, because, you know, breastfeeding, you have to eat and all of that. You get really hungry. I wasn't getting hungry. I didn't have that explosive appetite. That I thought I was going to have. I didn't have it at all. It was just my regular self, you know. But because I was breastfeeding, I tried to eat as much as I could so that I have like enough nutrients and all of that for my son to take off the milk. But I did not gain any weight. I mean, look at me. I still haven't gained like the weight and all of that. But yeah, that's one thing. I know that a lot of people do not experience it like this. I'm sure there are a few people that do not gain weight after they give birth you know and i happen to be in that category and the only thing is i was looking for weight so yeah that did not happen nobody tells you like nobody tells you how hard it is to have a baby abroad without your family nobody i mean even if they tell you you will not understand until you experience it right and that's that's what happened to me i thought it was going to be cool and it was going to be easy and all of that but i promise you it was just how am I using words? It's just me and my husband literally taking care of this boy. I want you to imagine how hard it is when people, like, when parents say that they are stressed and they have help, right? We don't have help. It's just us. So this is stress raised to power 1 million. It was, it, it was crazy, right? And my son is 9 months now. And in the whole of 9 months of his life, I've had just one week of rest. And that one week, my auntie came in from the U.S. to do a mongo for me. So that one week was my rest period. To be honest, like, in retrospect, I think that I would have rested more. Because she kept telling me, she needed to rest. She needed to sleep. Because when I go, when I go, when I go, you will see life. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, don't worry. When my son wakes up in the middle of the night, I'm awake. She's like, sleep, I will handle this boy. Don't worry. And, you know, if I'd known, I'd have really just kept sleeping the whole day i was trying to be proactive i was trying to do stuff and all of that but if i had known i'll have really rested because that was the only week of my life where i had help like i had present help constant help it was nice few people that have help few people that have your parents your family around you you do not know what you are enjoying i know that it's still stressful i'm not even taking away from that but i'm just saying that it is you are enjoying life you are you are living large you know <laughs> and i really appreciate my aunt my aunt for coming through like i really really do appreciate her for coming through and the crazy thing is she's the same person that took care of me when i was a kid she took care of me for three months when my mom had me and now she came and she took care of myself for a week so that was pretty special you know she did advice that they always give like new moms sleep when the baby is sleeping i'm very I don't know how I feel about that advice because it feels like when the baby is sleeping is when you want to do every other thing in life. It's when you want to accomplish all your goals. It's when you want to just, you know, do things. So when the baby is back up, you've cleared out your schedule or whatnot. In retrospect, I really would have just slept when the baby was sleeping. Or even if I can't, like, I could not sleep at the time, I'll have just rested. Whatever is, you know, whatever it is I wanted to do, it will work for me and I'll do it later. But you see, when the child is awake, your whole you have to be active you have to be awake too you know like you're not getting any rest at that time so if i had known i would have really rested more and not done so much because i was trying to 
I was trying to be active and not lose myself. Do you get what I mean? Which doesn't make any sense because it's one thing that's very inevitable considering the fact that it's just me, my husband and our baby. There's no way I would not even have lost myself. So I was trying so hard like I was fighting to be present, to be active and all of that. And in retrospect, to what end? Right? Sleep when the baby is sleeping is actually good advice to be honest. If you if it's the dishes you want to wash, when the baby is awake, you can wash the dishes. Just carry him all the way to the kitchen with you and keep it by your side and handle the dishes while he's awake or whatever it is you want to do you can actually do when the baby is awake which you, can, you might not do it effectively as when he's sleeping but you can do when he's awake i don't know if you get what i mean so that's one advice you know i was very like i don't like this advice but it does make sense to be very honest if you can't sleep just rest or just you know take your time and just chill my hearing got really sharp or i don't know if that's the word if my if i'm in the living room and my son is awake in the room and he's not making so much noise or maybe he just made a little noise we rest assured that i will know like i would know immediately and i'm like i just heard this voice my husband's like what is this voice and i go to the room and he's awake i'm sure mothers can can relate it's like you cannot actively sleep anymore sleep that you're getting is just surface level you're not you're you know that dead sleep where you're sleeping and you can't even hear the world around you it's almost like you lose the ability to sleep like that because you have your baby and your mind is like okay i need to be alert in case anything wants to happen in case anything wants to go wrong because a lot of times we mothers feel like we're the best caretaker for our um our children or our child or even if your husband or your partner is there to help you just feel like you're the one that can do the most you care me so the, my sleep was surface level every single time i say was because it's better now another thing that i didn't even know was a thing is that you have to check your baby's poop like you have to keep checking um how many times has, has he pooped today how many wet diapers like you just constantly have to check that he's pooping well enough he's um peeing well enough and all of that considering the fact that i kept forgetting stuff that i had to literally write down okay he has pooped like this time crazy the tiredness that comes with being a mom is it's it's a lot it's a, it's, it's it's intense like you sleep and you wake up tired. It feels like your life is in your own anymore. Like I think that that was that that has been the hardest part for me, being myself basically. It's like I'm not for myself anymore. You know when you don't have a child, you're for yourself. <laughs> it's literally just you, right? But my life revolves around this little precious boy. It's hard coming to terms with the fact that a lot of things that I would have loved to do, you know, I can't do them anymore because. I have to take care of my baby. Um, there's no one I can take my baby with and say, oh, I want to just, let me go and take a, let me take a walk. Let me just breathe, right? Let me breathe. Let me go and have a drink. I just, you know, get myself. I don't have that. And I'm not even complaining, to be honest. I just, it's like, a lot of times I was questioning myself, like, Supreme, is this you? Is this your life? Is this, is this it? <laughs> you know because i'm just there i'm too tired to do anything i'm too tired to think i'm too, like my ideas are in my head and i'm too tired to even process i'm just it's literally like i'm just there to the world i'm starting to feel more like myself now because you know my son is nine months and he sleeps through the night most times sometimes he wakes up once at night that means i'm getting at least four to five hours of sleep daily which is something that you know i wasn't getting where i'm coming from and it, it get it gets easier to be honest like i did not even see this thing i didn't see it happening anytime soon i remember how sad and you know depressed i was getting because sleep deprivation is a thing it does crazy things to your body and i was like god when is it going to get better but the truth is it does get better and this is for new moms out there like you know your baby's still in the newborn baby stage and you're asking god when is it going to be over i promise you it's going to be over if before you blink before you blink your baby is a big boy or a big girl you know and your life just really starts to feel normal again so just hold on stay strong and you're going to be fine we're all going to be fine so i just wanted to highlight the sleepless nights the tiredness constipation the forgetfulness you know all the things that i have mentioned in this video i just wanted to highlight and tell you guys you know how it has been and right now i'm just navigating life slowly taking one day at a time you know learning my baby learning how to be like a good mom to my baby basically i am learning how to work when he's awake 
rest when he's sleeping if i can you know sometimes i'm up when he's sleeping and doing what i have to do but all in all like just figure out what works for you and just make your life better and less stressful that's what i'm doing and i try every day to be honest it's not easy but you have to do what you have to do you know nobody's going to help you do it thank you guys for staying with me thank you for watching my video um i really do appreciate guys please subscribe if you're new here please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're already subscribed please put on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you guys can get the notification please guys thank you so much it's your girl Dupreme.